Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. Happy Boyfriend Day. Happy... I'll tell my boyfriend. Okay. Uh, which one, Henry or Charlie? <laughs> He'll always be my boyfriend. Oh, thank you. Thank you. That's a bright answer. You can tell your boyfriend too. Uh, I might. I might. <laughs> anyway. Fight him over next time. Jim. Big Jim. Big Jim. Big Jim. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, let's talk about this. This is uh, it's Happy Boyfriend Day, so we're going to talk about bros bombing at the box office. For those of you who don't know, don't care. Uh, bros is a gay romantic comedy that uh, came and went in the theater last weekend. It only made a little over four million dollars. Now the star is uh, blaming all the straight, straight people. people who didn't go see it. So we joked yesterday. I didn't. No, I said I saw the headline that they didn't do well, and I said what they're going to do is they're going to turn around and say it's because all you straight people because you're phobic didn't come see the movie. And that's exactly what happened. And I'm like, no, that's kind. Of, it, actually, I was kind of like, no, that's kind of silly. This is kind of a niche thing. This is a a, a, a gay romantic. They comedy. always blame the bigots. And this is exactly what's going on. So we're going to talk about this. And look, I understand being disappointed if your movie didn't make bank. I get it. That being said, it is kind of a niche thing. And so you're taking uh, people who are going to be into romantic comedies and romantic comedies, for the most part, uh, even straight ones, don't perform terribly well at the box office or not. You know, super I know huge. you don't like them that much. I hate them. I absolutely hate I them. I like them. But uh, it depends on who's in it and, you know, if it's something I want to see. And I'm not trying Henry to be a Cavill, dick, but this wasn't Charlie one I wanted Cox. to see. I was not the target demographic no, on this Well, one. that's the thing. That's that's what I'm saying. Like, so, look. And I was just doing my due diligence of staying in my own lane. There you, there you that's are. That's what Hollywood keeps telling me, right? It's not for you. It's, it's not, not for, for you. you. Um, it was like it was like Elizabeth Banks when she was having a fit about uh, the, the Charlie's Angels movie. Oh, then she said she... Said she didn't. Yeah, say it. basically, men is not for you. Yeah, and then when you. no one came, now it's men's fault. It's men's fault for not coming. So <laughs> here's here's the thing, right? Uh, you know, statistically, there aren't a lot of LGBTQ plus people out there, but but there are a hell of a lot more um, than than uh, what would uh, uh, make four million dollars mm -hmm. in the box office. So they so, didn't go see it either. So they didn't go see it either. So there are some other issues here, and even the mainstream media, which I you know normally I think two years ago they would have pounced on this, been like, oh the bigots are mad. There's a movie with gay men in it. I'm like, oh, you know, Brokeback Mountain did pretty good. Didn't Brokeback Mountain do? I don't really know. Good? I never saw it. I, I thought that was that was that was kind of a big deal when that was it, out. I probably, I don't know. I didn't watch it. I did think the trailer for this one was funny, and they were promoting it. It wasn't like it wasn't promoted. Yeah. I saw it constantly on Hulu and stuff, and it was it was the one part was funny because there was like this old guy and he's like all muscular, and the one guy said he had sex with him, and it's like they injected Gandalf with steroids, and I thought that was pretty funny, but it still wasn't enough to get me to go to the movie that I really have no desire to see. I, I, we're totally going to see gay Gandalf on steroids in the Amazon show, aren't we? <laughs> I don't know. Because Gandalf, they're, they're not going to have Gandalf come in. Is he that before his time? That was supposed to be, but this is Amazon's Lord of the Rings. So who the hell knows? Who the hell knows? They, they have a great wizard. Grandfather. They, Randolph. Randolph. He's very Randolph Randy. Randolph the Randy. They call him Randy. <laughs> they call him Randolph, Randolph the Reddy. I was going to say Randolph the Red, but okay. Wow. <laughs> the purple. No. Uh, anyway, let's let's talk about this because again, you know, we talk about marketing and anti-marketing, and I, I get again to be completely fair, to be objective. I get being salty. Your movie didn't make bank, Sorry, but I'm still laughing about Randolph already. Anyway, <laughs> but uh, going out there and attacking people, you know, for not seeing your movie, that's not going to help you get butts in seats next time you put a movie out there, is it? Sorry, you said butts. But beyond that, I, I'm sorry, I'm distracted by underneath the headlines over here. The Barney docuseries, I Love You, You Hate Me, and covers a dark side of kids shows. Whoa! And now I want to see that. Anyway, okay. Okay, so speaking this, of purple. Speaking of purple. So this 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 uh, article is getting more traction than the movie did, weirdly enough. So we're going to talk about it. it before, probably is. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Guys, over 276,000 subs. Woo. Thank you for the support. We do talk about pop culture, talk about movies. I uh, really was not going to cover this, but we're only covering it because what you said was probably going to happen totally happened. Yep. Oh, I yeah. totally knew it. See, that the, 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 the shock face that I didn't make. What? What? Okay, so this is the star, Billy Eichner. 
Now, uh, they are saying that, yes, you know, homophobia might have kept some people away, but there were other factors as well. Like, you know, this month has sucked for movies. Yeah. And, uh, you know... It, it Rom-coms don't do great normally. But, you know, it's got glowing reviews on Rotten Tomatoes and an A cinema score, so people didn't show up. Um, so here's the thing, though. They point this out, just as I pointed out. Um, well, they said one thing, the, the poster features a guy putting his hand in another guy's butt and it's no. got people's backs or whatever. I mean, it was pretty obvious what it was about. I mean, that's just so be a you know, Just so you know. Just so you know, this movie's gay. They said, though, the $4.8 million opening for Bros is so low, it also means many LGBTQ yes. viewers didn't show up to see the comedy in theaters either. Why did it disappoint? So... Why didn't you, oh my God, why didn't the community show up and support? It was your duty. You had to go see this movie twice. Right, because if you didn't, you're just not an ally and you're a shitty, bigoted person. It was a movie people had no interest in. They just didn't go see it because they didn't want to see it. And, you know, again, like I would keep the Hollywood keeps telling me that I'm a terrible person and that, you know, I only can play roles that I am. And I can only do what I identify as. I don't identify as gay man. So it would be wrong of me to go to see this movie. Yeah. you By their own standards. You didn't want to appropriate uh, any yes. of this culture. I actually didn't even know it was out. But they point out that other movies with, you know, huge stars and big budgets didn't do well. Right, Bullet exactly. Train, which I actually wanted to see Bullet Train. I saw a trailer for it and then I like totally forgot it was a thing. But I'm like, hey, that looks kind of cool. Fight scene looks pretty good. Oh, they're trying to say romantic, romantic comedy genre is star is with star power. You have to have it because Lost City made 105 million, which you know I was surprised by. I mean, I lo it was a cute movie, but I I didn't think it made 105 million. But that was that was a romantic comedy, but it was also like an action it, movie. An action movie, and that one had Brad Pitt in it too. Yes, it did. Um, yeah, and it wasn't completely terrible. <laughs> it was it was okay. It wasn't the best movie either, but it, it wasn't bad. It wasn't the best movie. But honestly, look, I mean, most rom-coms, gay or straight, don't do that well. And like they point out, gay people didn't go see it either. You know, They, they don't just, want to see your rom-com either. Honestly, anymore, the way things are, a rom-com is going to be relegated to streaming. It's like, if I can only go see one thing in the theater, I'm going to go see the big shiny tent pole right. movie. Pretty much. You know, not to be confused with the other tent pole. Not to be, In this no. one. That's, <laughs> there are the tent you know, poles. Um, so that's the thing. But yeah, he took to Twitter. He's not happy. And we know of course he went to Twitter. Oh my God. It's so, you know, predi I, it's so predictable. I called it. Trending, <sighs> trending on National Boyfriend Day, ironically enough. And also... Also, we're talking about Shin Ultraman. I'd I saw Shin that. Ultraman. So here we go. Uh, last night, and look, I, I get being salty. I'm trying to be fair here. I, I get it. I get it. Last night, I snuck in and sat in the back of a sold-out theater playing Bros in L.A. The audience howled with laughter start to finish, burst into applause at the end. Some were wiping away tears as they walked oh, out. It was magical. The world's smallest violin. Keep going. Oh. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna give the <laughs> sorry. You can do you can you can go tinier. That's actually like that's not the smallest okay. violin. Somebody probably has who owns the world's smallest violin? I don't know. I'm sure it's exists. Bill Gates. Bill Gates has the world's tiniest violin. He gets it out every time Elon Musk, you know, flubs it and they have a headline about Elon Musk. He gets the world's tiniest <laughs> violin out. And I'm like, I don't feel sorry for you, Elon. All right. Uh really I'm very proud of the movie. Okay. Well that's cool. good. You're allowed to be proud and of the movie. Say hey, uh thanks. Thanks for those of you who came. Um, say thanks. Uh, I'm really glad you guys enjoyed it. Can't win them all. We tried. Hopefully people will discover this movie later. And you move on to the next project. But no. <laughs> we can't do that. Rolling Stone already no, has bros. But no, they didn't discover the but no. But no. Uh, Rolling Stone already has bros on the list of the best comedies of the 21st century. What's also <laughs> true is that... Not that means anything. It's also true is that at one point... Theater chain called Universal said they're pulling the trailer because of the gay content. You need to convince them not to. But they to. didn't name who it was. No, they did not. America, fuck yes. So just take my word for it because I said so. Um, that's just, think, what major chain is going to do that? Right. That's just the world we live in, unfortunately. Even with glowing reviews, great Rotten Tomatoes scores, and a cinema score, straight people... Especially in certain parts of the country, just didn't show up for bros. Neither did gay people. Neither did gay people. 
And that's disappointing, but that's what it is. Everyone who isn't a homophobic weirdo. So we're gonna try. Go, so we're gonna try to bully you. Oh no! See, you have to prove you're not a homophobic weirdo. If you don't go see this movie, it's because you're a homophobic weirdo. So we're going to literally bully the potential audience. If you're not a homophobic weirdo, go see Bros. You'll have a blast, and it's special and uniquely powerful to see this particular story on a big screen, especially for queer. Fo- Wait. Just got done saying straight people didn't like it, but this is going to mean more for the queer folk. But who is your audience? You're not really selling this if movie. If you're a to true ally, you'll, you'll come to this movie because, you know. I don't like to be shamed into going to a movie or shamed into watching a TV show. You just or probably shamed. lost a bunch of people who might have gone. If you said this movie is funny as hell, it's a smart comedy. And yeah, it just happens to have two gay guys. But if it was guy and girl, it'd still be said basically the same thing. It's just a funny movie. It's a good movie. You'll enjoy it. Even if you're straight, you're going to enjoy this movie. People would go. People would go, but that's not what you're saying. No. Well, the first well, this comment, this girl, if, uh, I just don't feel represented in a movie about gay men. And representation is the only important thing about a story, right? <laughs> oh, God. <sighs> Um, I know that. Oh, uh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, you're good. Uh, support multi billion dollar corporate products. Spend your money. Buy me another mansion. Buy my product or yes. ask your bigot. And it's a lot of women. Yeah. 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 The Elizabeth Banks, Charlie's Angel strategy. And they yes. made, uh, I think she made what, like eight, eight million dollars that weekend or something on Charlie's Angel? A reboot nobody wanted. I think she made more on that movie than, than the Twice. Than Bros did. But, you know, I mean, look, this is this is anti-marketing, dude. This is anti-marketing. If you have to insult people to see a movie, then I highly doubt it's any good. God, yeah, this just isn't. I mean, look, go to Variety, or where were we at here? We were on uh, Hollywood Reporter, Variety. Variety. Look at the top stories. Two of the top stories was about him whining about the movie. You know, yeah, and then the saying him, and then one saying, "Well, it's not really up just because the straight people." And it's like people, you're telling people, okay, Hollywood really got to fucking decide what you want here. Sorry, mom, but you're telling people in one breath you don't want them there. It's not for you. It's for the people. It's representation, and it's not for you. And you need to stay in your own lane. And so we only can hire voice actors and actors to play characters that are just like them because otherwise it's bigotry and it's wrong. Then people don't go to see the movie that's not representative of them, and they're terrible people for it. They didn't go see the movie that was not representative of them. It's like, what the hell do you want? Blow this up a couple more times. There we go. However, coming from Variety, saying that yes, homophobia might have kept some people away, admitting that yes, that is a thing, but saying the $4.8 million opening for bros is so low that it also means many LGBTQ viewers didn't show up to see the comedy in theaters either. Just saying. Yes. And now you've you've basically turned off a whole bunch of people who might have uh, checked the movie out after the fact on streaming or whatever. Now you'll be like, oh, that's a that movie that that guy whined about. The straight people didn't support it. Right. Like, and uh, Brokeback Mountain made a lot of money. I just, if I'm I just tired of saying. bigotry being the go-to excuse for everything. This is the most 2017 thing I have read this week. And it might be a really good movie. And it might Maybe. be funny as hell. You know, <laughs> Maybe. This, the, the last hour. It might be funny as hell. And it might be a really good movie. It might be. A lot of people just aren't going to the movie theater right now. There's a lot of stuff going on right now. People just aren't going. Yeah, they actually brought that up on on some other outlets too. They're like, it's it, you know, right now the box office is not doing good. I mean, there's so many reasons, so many reasons. But again, you've got a movie like this, and you know, it's not homophobic to say that straight people, when they go see a romantic comedy, might want something that they relate to, and they might not relate to a story that, you know... I mean, a lot of relationship problems are across the board, right, but it's right. just, like, might not be something that, you know, you're into. Who knows? I don't know. I mean, whatever the deal is, I, I'm telling you, going out there to Twitter and blaming straight people isn't going to help straight people go to your next movie. No. Uh, they're going to be like, oh, that's that guy that was out there whining about yes. how... Right, you, yeah, yeah exactly. And it's not, it's not going to help when it hits other platforms either, because they're going to be like, I'm not going to watch it. Hell no. So that was not a smart thing to do. There's a lot of reasons why it probably bombed. Being People not coming to see it has it's probably has more to the fact they were interested in the film than it has anything to do with them being straight. Yeah, so, you know, like I said, the other movies that had explicitly gay content still did well. There's just a lot of lot of things going on. They even, they even flat out said, and that might be another reason he's pissed off, they said it doesn't have any star power. 
They're mm-hmm. like, dude's not a big enough draw to, you know. Yeah. So they had to, they had to, the marketing, they had to uh, focus on being, you know, a gay rom com. That was basically how it was known. That, like, we're marketing as a gay rom com. Well, well that's gay what they're up, saying. I mean, even up. the right rom coms that are, you know, not gay rom coms, you have to have stars in it for them to do it even very, any well, very well at all. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, so anyway, we're going to wrap this yep. up. Happy boyfriend day, everybody. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so please subscribe for more. Pop culture news, views, and rants. We'll talk later. Bye.